Research shows Arkansas has the highest child abuse rate in the nation. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Helms. Fox 24's Corsi Busamonte in studio to break down that study, and some of you may find the following numbers surprising. Chelsea, almost 60% of children here in Arkansas have lived through at least one adverse childhood experience. These are things like abuse or violence. And one local health professional now dedicating her life to helping these kids using her own trauma. This is an epidemic for us as a country, as a nation. And so I stand here as an African-American woman with eight out of 10 adverse childhood experiences. Mental health professional Joy McGowan now fighting to help Northwest Arkansas children heal from traumatic experiences. It can be sexual abuse, physical abuse. It can be just witnessing violence um, from within your home or witnessing violence within your community. Working at Burrell Youth Bridge, McGowan knows trauma can not only take over a child's mental health, but their physical health too. The more experiences a child has had, the more likely they are to have diseases that are basically preventable. Along with anxiety and depression, these abused kids can also be diagnosed with diabetes or high blood pressure, a range of issues that don't stop when the child leaves their home. What we see in schools though is typically children are coming to school, they're really anxious, um, they're easily angered, um, they're really impulsive, they may get into lots of fights, they may be suspended most of the time, right, for their behavior, their negative behaviors, but really this kid is just in a state of fight or flight. If you're an educator and you notice this, McGowan says the best thing to do is build a relationship with the child and lend them your ear. Because there's a different type of confidence when you can tell your story and someone listens and someone validates, someone says that's not right, I can't believe it happened. Burrell Youth Bridge isn't the only place working to save the mental health of these kids. We can't take back what's already happened, but if we get to be the people that kind of help them start that healing process, then that's, that's pretty impactful. Director Casey Atwood says the Children's Safety Center offers various types of therapy and support groups for kids experiencing trauma. The children here are our future, so we really have to be making sure that we as a community are doing everything we can to make sure that children are going to be safe, that they're going to be cared for, and hopefully that they don't have any of these adverse childhood experiences. According to research done by Child Trends, one in seven children have experienced three or more adverse childhood experiences. If you suspect any type of child abuse in your area, you can call the number here on your screen. This is the Child Abuse Hotline. Live in studio, Clarice Bustamante, Fox 24 News.